Hello, future viewers. Welcome back. We've got uh, something new, something interesting ahead of us. We know that it's a boat situation, so that's pretty much always bad. But also, it seems that our party has been split up. And what's more, the party that was split off of us seems to have kept all of the good gear that we just got. With the exception of Deanna's Steel Sword. So that that's going to be a little tough to deal with. Really should have traded that axe over when I had a chance. I will give the bad guys credit, though. They clearly saw what the Shining Force, or I guess Cypress Army, was going for, and set a trap. So that, that, that's pretty neat. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be a little more pressing soon. You, you, it, you think? You sure about that? Well, that's not much help. Well, it, you want to take bets on whether the ship is going to survive this next fight? Shining Force doesn't have a good track record for that sort of thing. I mean, look at the fight at the start of Book 1, for example. We do have all the basics that we need, although we effectively have five party members here. Hmm. Also, this is a little bit emergent breaking, but I want to get my promotions in right now. She's not here, but okay. Okay. Yeah, let's... I mean, this is what we did in book one, and it... Well, actually, no. I promoted early in book one, and it turned out to be not great, so... Let's let's get our promotions at the halfway point. I think that's the traditional way to do it anyway. Knight Eric is now a pill donor. I guess I see no reason not to let him promote too. I wonder what the animations are gonna look like. Well, for Paladin it's pretty much the same, but... Yeah, it, it stings a little bit to lose that 90 experience. But it's probably worse to uh, not promote. Chester will become a snip. Snip, snip. Alternatively, Sword Ninja in Paris. And I believe that's it. Well, I don't think I have access to trading right now. 
Yeah, no such luck. I can't somehow uh, get rid of or move over the stuff that was on the other party. That would be too easy. I also don't need this. And I should equip that steel sword, shouldn't I? I'll do that next turn I get for him. Well, with that out of the way, let's get moving. That is a... That is a pretty neat sprite right there. That's pretty cool. So, let, let's give a little credit for that. The, the graphics of Shining Force have always been very appropriate and I would say impressive, especially for the time it was uh, made. Well, I'm, I guess I'll qualify that a little. Shining Force CD... The Sega CD has had some more impressive graphics in uh, other circumstances. Although I'm not sure how much of that was Sprite and how much of that was Polygon. Well, let's check out the Evil Pixie. Blaze 2, huh? Looks like I should get into Shining Force formation soon. It looks like I might have to split my party to the left and right, which is not great for a six-person party, but so it goes. Oh, it's not moving? I'm pretty sure I could have moved in and cast a spell. That's a little odd. Okay, I, I like that battle sprite. Oh no, not May. Well, actually, that could have been bad if it was a double attack. Probably seven move, right? No, six. I could really use the power of spear here, but I, I can make do. I'm gonna see if this will lure out that evil pixie. Yep, yep, it did. All right, that's one. Uh, that's one tactic accomplished. By the way, these rat flies—they seem like they're a little bit obsolete, but they now have power rings and protect rings equipped. And no, they don't drop them. Okay. Um, I'm not quite sure about that attack animation, but I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Well, I guess I just better hope that I don't miss with Eric and Chester, huh? Okay, so he still looks like he has a pot on his head, but at least it doesn't have those little stand things coming out of the top. So, small mercies, I guess.
something I just realized is that the extra attack from a power ring, I don't think that's increased from uh, super difficulty. Oh, good. That, that's actually really nice. I didn't want that pixie to get a lucky turn order and maybe cast uh, an unfortunate blaze too. Speaking of turn orders, this is looking good. And if I had that better axe, though... Well, no use worrying about it now. Now, I wish they ad added some more over-the-top spellcasting animations for promoted wizards. Like, Shining Force 1 set the bar for that, and... I'm disappointed that they haven't done any sort of follow-up on it. I'm very disappointed. I don't like it exactly, but <laughs> I'd rather have this than the red fly move around and attack someone inconvenient. I did read that May gets Freeze 3 fairly fast. Oh, I forgot to show off uh, this fellow. Um, a bishop. Similar stats to the Master Mage, but for healing instead. Thankfully no aura. Aura would be a problem. Okay. Well, I'd, be, I'd better be ready to cast a follow-up heal for when that Master Mage moves in. Thankfully, I think I'm in a pretty good position for that. Oh, now that's a turn order, alright. Well, I'm glad that both of them didn't pile up on Deanna. That, that would be worse. Hmm. I could cast from, like, casting from here would mean that Mage would probably die, and casting from here would be a perfect target for the Master Mage, so nothing happening here. Nope. Oh no. Oh no, don't do that. And they give all of the armored enemies freaking boost too. I might actually have to use May after all. Though I hope not. That would be awkward. Okay, at least the Master Mage wasn't boosted. And the Pegasus Knights cannot really hurt Eric. So I don't have to worry too much about follow-up. But... What do I do now? I don't want to stand here. But what's Chester's defense? 21 versus... Okay, Chester's defense is actually pretty good. Okay, let's, let's start dealing some damage over here. That's three attacks compared to, to Deanna's one so far. Okay, two, technically. That, that was actually very convenient. I appreciate that. And he needs that defense up by three as well. 
Well, I say he needs it as though... Well... I'm getting... Anyway. Hmm. I cannot reach him with a heal too. That is a problem. That is a big ol' problem. Eric is likely to die in that case. Now that is very awkward positioning and it was my own fault. My only hope is that if I move like this, the Master Mage will be distracted and hit uh, Diana with the, a Blaze 3 instead. Oh? No such luck. No such luck. Hmm, that's really bad. As if I had to tell you that. But... Let's see, she wouldn't have had a healing herb anyway, and neither would Chester, so I can't really blame the turn order too much. Well, still. Um, let's keep hitting the enemy that we can damage until boost wears off. Ooh, yeah. At least we can hit that one pretty hard. L let's see how the experience tacks up, because Master Mage was kind of dropping off before this. Not anymore, though. And he needed those three hit points. I wonder if stat-ups are still bugged the way they were in Shining Force 1. Um, May is definitely getting KO'd, though. Uh, because the Pegasus Knight is likely to move next and hit May as well. I don't think... Let's see, 25 versus 35. Nope, not quite enough. Better just shoot the Ratfly and... work things out after that. Well, let this be a lesson to me. Always put uh, one healing herb on every character. No attack up, but defense up by three? Okay, sure. I'll go with that. Huh. This doesn't mean that May will... Okay, yeah, it does mean that May will survive. Never mind. Yes, I know that means I can't attack the Pegasus Knight right now. Well, Chester can do it, but... So never mind, don't pay attention to things that I say. Does Freeze 2 deal 11 damage? Let's find out. I mean, Freeze 1 can deal 10, so I hope this does it. No! No, it doesn't! Shining Force CD magic, everyone. That's not going to do anything. You just saw that level up. Well, I guess that's the thing. Chester might not have the attack power of Graham, but... Um... Unusually tanky for an archer. Okay. I will... Accept that and incorporate it into my plans as we go. Okay, uh, as long as we don't get incredibly unlucky with double attacks and such, I think things will be okay. Let's see, Chester hasn't reached level 2 yet. Oh yeah, he has actually. Never mind, pretty much everyone who kills things has reached level 2, so let, let's not worry. Let's just keep going. Yeah, this is the game's way of saying, Oh, you neglected May? You figure you're being smart with your experience distribution, huh? 
Well, guess what? Here's a situation where you have to use her in order to uh, have a decent team. Well, I say that, but I, I think that even if she was leveled up more, she wouldn't help much. Also, it, it seems that um, stat boosts wear off exactly when the game says that they do. Which is good for us right now, but will be bad for us later on. Potentially. Uh, this, this mast is very odd. Like, is it just lying down on the deck? I do not understand. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll do that. And the game says no. Well, that's okay. Man, it's... It's really too bad that they had a bishop that was providing healing support, especially with their longer range heal 3. That was a big problem for us. Well, so, uh, as is usual, well, I, I wouldn't say usual, but, um, it's not especially rare for Sword of Hajia to push me a bit and put me in tough spots, but this is the first time where it's actually killed, um, in that, in this case, more than one of my characters, and I decided, nope, I'm not going to... Uh, worry about restarting and making the fight look better. I'm just gonna go with it as is, and I'm fairly sure that the viewers will understand. Besides which, no one, no one likes to watch a fight where it's completely one-sided. That's not interesting. At least that's what I'm telling myself as an excuse for letting that happen. Oh, right, I had boost and I could have used it to make my uh, characters more survivable. Well, I say that, but actually what got me was um, Blaze 3, so it wouldn't even have mattered. So never mind, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Chester... Well... I don't know. If the game cuts over to the other party, then I'll be glad that Graham has that Robin arrow, but still. Still, this is kind of annoying. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna do it. Then he's likely to cast Heal 3 on himself. And that means I get more free experience. Woe is me. Should I have Deanna do that? It's not optimal. But I just want to finish the map. I'll have plenty of opportunities to give kills to the other guys, I think. Oh yay, a medical herb. That would have been handy a little while ago. That part was my fault. Oh! Claude! Is this the Claude that... okay. They probably wouldn't give me someone quite as high level as Claude in Book 1, but... If his stat progression is the same as it was in Book 1, I think I've just got a new MVP right here. But we'll have to see. Yeah, but how do we get control of the ship? Um, last I checked, we still had a ship that was out of control and didn't know how to get control. Oh, wait, the bad guys had control of the ship and that's the direction they decided to send us. Okay, that, I'm kind of disappointed. Before this, they were doing pretty smart things um, all of the time. 
Well, let's let's do some reviving. Uh, I fully deserve all of the uh, gold that I have to spend on this. Well, I fully deserve losing the gold that I had to spend on this. Oh, I thought I took two casualties. I, I think my brain just said, oh, May is dead, and never quite got over the fact that, no, that didn't actually happen. That's why I said I took two casualties there. Okay. Oh! So the Battle Axe is the least expensive replacement of all the things that... Okay. So it would have helped. It would have been nice to have. But I can make do with what happened here. Hopefully the next map will be smoother, although I haven't seen what enemies are in the next map. Shouldn't speak too soon, right? So I'll deal with all of that off-camera again. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, I gotta say, it's refreshing to have a map that will take me by surprise and um, beat me up a little bit, because I have been playing kinda sloppy. I, I don't actually enjoy being beat up. Don't... don't take it that way. <laughs> well, uh, let, let's ignore I said any of that, and um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Later!